This is Prince Hanley coming to you today with 100,000 watts of pure love. I want to talk to you today about the idea. If you would stand on the ocean shore at the edge of a continent and look out at the horizon, what do you see? What do you think? How can I get to the other side of the world? How small, infinitesimal, and insignificant I am? How limited are my abilities? Probably the latter will have the most impression upon your mind. There are certain limits to your abilities. In the last four shows, we talked about remove the barriers, anointing for success, the secret, the move. If you have not listened to these podcasts, make sure you listen to them for your present and your future success and your productivity in the kingdom of God. In each of these shows, we've attempted to lay out a successful plan whereby you can accomplish these things. Number one, things your mind has never conceived. Number two, things that people People, even yourself have said are impossible and number three things that the enemy the devil has said you cannot do this remember the scripture says the things that are impossible with men are possible with God you can read that in Luke chapter 18 verse 27 I am aware by the Spirit of God that I am presenting this message to someone a person or people who have an idea God has given you however you either number one do not know how to to accomplish it. In other words, you need wisdom from God. Or number two, you're not positive that the idea came from God. First, the enemy of your soul will always lie to your mind if you have an idea or if you're working on an idea to reach people and nations for Christ. The devil doesn't want you to reach anyone for Christ. So he's, of course, going to try to discourage you or lie to you and tell you it's not God. I want to give you an example. I'll give you example number one. I'm going to give you several examples of how this happened. Example number one, on one website search of like subject matter, that is on a search engine, out of over 63 million subjects, we were number one. That's like subjects. Also, there were several sites where we were number one out of tens of thousands when you would search. I give all the credit to the Holy Spirit. I turned down every piece of advice I received from media people directly involved with that industry. Some were friends. Some were experts with top credentials and experience in the field. So I want to tell you, ask God for wisdom and do what he tells you. I want to give you example number two now. Remember, we're talking about the idea. On one project that has reached some of the wealthiest Jews in the world and hundreds of thousands of people for the Messiah of Israel, I was told by a government agency that I could not do it, that it violated laws and codes and restrictions five different ways. But I did it. Every time I came to an obstacle, God gave me the victory in the name of Jesus. So what I want to tell you is ask God for wisdom and do not take no for an answer. I want to give you example three. On one project the Lord gave me to do, which has reached hundreds of thousands, if not millions, for Christ in many languages around the world, I was seeking feedback. I wanted the opinion or the advice from someone. It was a far out idea that I had from God, and so I thought of the most far out person that I was acquainted with at the time to see what they thought of the idea. When I corresponded with them, they answered me back, and the person told me, it's too far out for me. You know what, brothers and sisters, that was my sign the idea was from God. So what I want to tell you, ask God for wisdom, and don't listen to other people.
now I want to give you example number four. Before I went on one ministry trip, a good close brother in the Lord told me, you are not supposed to go on that trip. However, I decided to do what God had told me, and I went on the trip. By God's grace, I reached many for Christ. Wonderful Jewish people came to know the Messiah. And God crossed my path with a person who had information they passed on to me before they died, which helped me reach many, many Jews in Israel and around the world. So what I want to tell you is ask God for wisdom and finish the job. And let me give you example of five. One project the Lord let me be part of, I actually only watched him put it together, took only one day. All came together in in one day. The idea, the money, the machines, the methodology, and the people. I really had nothing to do with it except ride around with a lady in a Jaguar and go from step to step as the Holy Spirit directed. Tens of thousands of Jews, if not more, around the world, many in Israel, have been reached for Messiah because of that idea. One Jewish businessman from Tiberias, Israel, flew all the way to California to meet me. I had an unlisted phone number in my publishing house. I don't know how he found my number. He told me, I will pay anything to meet you. I met him and spent two hours in the Tanakh, in the Hebrew Old Testament. The Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit, opened his spiritual eyes. The man prayed. He asked Yeshua HaMashiach, that's Jesus the Christ, the Messiah, to come into his life and to be his Messiah. I then took him to the airline counter where he immediately booked a flight back to Israel. So what I want to tell you is ask God for wisdom and move expeditiously. If Christopher Columbus had looked at the horizon from the ocean shore and listened to many others, he would never have sailed to the new world 600 years ago. What is your horizon? What is that stirring in your heart God has been activating? What is that idea the Lord has given you that you feel is humanly impossible? Ask God for wisdom. I want you to listen to the last four shows and do what the Holy Spirit tells you. If you have not heard those shows already, the first one was Remove the Barriers, the second was The Anointing for Success, the third one was The Secret, and the fourth was The Move. Listen to those shows. Do what the Holy Spirit tells you. You may have a sense of the limits of your abilities, but remember, with man it is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Feel free to email us for prayer or encouragement. We will intercede for direction, for provision, and wisdom for you, and we'll Consider it both a pleasure and a privilege. You can reach me personally at princehandley at gmail.com. Have a super blessed day, my friend, and a super blessed rest of your life as you receive ideas from God under the anointing of the Holy Spirit and then move out in obedience. Listen to God and do what he tells you. This has been Apostle Talk, and this is Prince Handley coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure love. (laughs) 